the Parral Conservation Society, founded in 1994, is a community-based nonprofit organization. PCS works with the community to ensure that Parral's natural resources are sustained, conserved, and preserved for Palau's present and future generations and for the enjoyment of all. PCS is a partner with BirdLife International. This partnership has helped PCS to strengthen the conservation status of birds in Palau. Palau is an island nation located in the Micronesia region in the Western Pacific. The Republic of Palau is found east of the Philippines and south of Tokyo. Kayangalu, the state in which this project took place, is the northernmost state in Palau. Kayangalu is one of two atolls in Palau and consists of four islands within its atoll. The atoll has a total land area of three kilometers square. Only one of the four islands is inhabited with a population in 2005 of 188 people. One of the islands of Kayaan, Mayunes, was designated by BirdLife as a globally important bird area. This designation was due to the fact that the Micronesian megaphone is a globally threatened bird species that were present in high numbers in the island itself compared to the rest of Palau and Micronesia. The Micronesian megapod, Megapodius laparus senex, is the most endangered bird species in Palau. The megapod is a ground-dwelling bird that lays its eggs in the mound. This unusual nesting practice makes the Micronesian megapod very susceptible to rodent predation. There are two rodent species in Kayam, Norwegian rat and roof rat. There have also been unconfirmed observations of mice in the island too. Rodents pose a threat to the Micronesian megapod and also to the health and livelihood of the people of Kayam. The rodents can cause health problems through water catchment. They can also affect the livelihood of the community by posing a threat to the environment, culture, and the economy. Cats may also become potential threats to the Micronesian megapods after the rats are eradicated. A feasibility study of the restoration of Kayao in 2006 found that rodent eradication is possible. The actual planning of the project started in October 2009 until its implementation in August 2011. PCS was fortunate to work with a local steering committee that provided guidance on decisions. Technical and scientific partners from outside Palau were also available to help PCS form an operational plan. Biological and sociological monitoring were created and implemented before the project started and will also be conducted after the eradication process. This will show the changes and the number of biological aspects as well as the changes in the community's livelihood. In September 2010, a mitigation study was conducted with the help of a research team from the Guam Office of the United States Department of Agriculture. Placebo bait and infrared cameras were used to see what animals would eat the bait. Motion sensor cameras captured pictures of rats as well as megapods. This study provided important information about the Micronesian megapods that helped finalize the methods for the Kayang restoration project. A series of community meetings were held in Kayang to update the locals on the operational plan. The project began with the preparation of transects and stations. The locals were well aware of the project and were available to help PCS enormously. The community of Kayao wanted a restoration project from the very beginning and showed their commitment by helping PCS work to improve Kayao's biodiversity as well as promote a healthy livelihood. 
a total of 60 community members participated in field work, as well as 8 PCS staff, 1 Bird Life Pacific Partnership staff, 6 volunteers from other states, and other volunteers. Transacts were set up in Kayang and the other islands on a 20 by 20 meter grid. This setup resulted in 4,300 baiting points in Kayang State. There were two types of bait in two types of forms used in the restoration project. Bodipakum and Bifasanan pellets as well as Bodipakum blocks. The lesser toxic dipassinant pellets were hand broadcasted three times at a rate of 22.5 kg per hectare on Maryunes, Marbalas, and Ora due to its large number of Micronesian megaphones. The higher toxic, rhodificum pellets were hand broadcasted twice at a rate of 15 and 10 kg per hectare on the inhabited island of Kayang which has a fewer number of Micronesian megapodes. Bait stations that held the Prodipicum blocks were used around homes and in wetlands and taro patches. The hand broadcast of rodenticide pellets took place from August 23 to September 8, 2011. Currently, block baits are still around homes, taro patches, and wetlands. This is to help ensure that we catch the last rodent spending and shall continue until we are certain that all the rodents have been eradicated. This project also included feral cat trapping in a pet spay and neuter clinic. All of the reported pet caps on the inhabited Kayangal Island were spayed, neutered, or euthanized. Cat trapping will continue until there is confidence that there are no more feral cats. There have been many outcomes that resulted from the project. Although the project hasn't ended, the people of Kayangal are happy with the results. A draft biosecurity plan is awaiting finalization while the community members are voluntarily inspecting incoming boats to Kayang. Also, the Kayang leaders and community have agreed to nominate marine and terrestrial sites in Kayang to the Palau Protected Areas Network. They are now creating a new management plan for the state of Kayang that also includes appointments of new protected areas. Kayang State's appointment as a PAN member opens the opportunity for grants that would help fund the Biosphere Treaty as well as the management of Kayang's natural resources. Kayang community members were also presented with a coconut mill that provides an opportunity to improve their livelihood. This coconut mill will be owned by the community members and ran by the community to help increase their economic well-being. The restoration of Priority Habitats in Kayang project is currently awaiting its declaration of a successful or unsuccessful operation.